Everybody wants to know. I recently built this uh, airplane and I have some red strips of monocote on there and I wanted to know what was the temperature that the uh, iron needed to be so it would not burn or melt or ruin the monocote or my wing. So I looked and looked and looked, couldn't find anything that would give me a temperature. Everybody said, oh, well, you got to be careful. You can't use uh, iron on foam, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's check it out. I took my digital touchless thermometer and just to give you an idea that it's uh, fairly close and it's not anyways near a perfect uh, instrument but it's certainly going to give an idea what's going in going on so let's take it over to my thermostat and see if it's anywhere close okay Set up here looking at my thermostat. It's showing 73 degrees in here. So let's take the digital thermostat. And you can see the red dot right there on the uh, thermostat. And I'm reading 74, 74 and a half, depending on where I put it. So I think we can uh, reasonably say that this uh, digital uh, thermometer is pretty close really doesn't make a whole lot of difference if it's uh, perfect or not even if it's four or five degrees off it won't hurt a bit just get you something that you can uh, very quickly and easily test the temperature on your iron now for a comparison I've already uh, finished one wing and what I'm going to do is intentionally get the fluorescent light to glare off this so that uh, you might be able to see better and you can see where I've melted this and it's stuck down pretty good to the uh, very good matter of fact to the foam and there's no damage to the foam whatsoever now I do have some uh, bumps on it you can see this but that is uh, little pieces of uh, I think five or six dots that sticks out up off the foam it's not smooth to begin with so that's what that's about so anyway just wanted to show you that and I'll compare show you a comparison now this is the wing that we're going to do here in a minute and you can see it's not uh, melted at all it's not stuck down to the surface there's a uh, several places there where there's bubbles of stuff in it so we'll see if we can get get that out of there also so what I've did I've got my heat gun uh, going and right now I'm at 136 degrees to try to push this down so that you can see the glare on it that's kind of tough for me to do that and iron both anyway here we go now I'm moving kind of quickly not setting on there and holding it okay and you can see that that's stuck very very well now let's move up to the edge of this piece we'll do a little bit more and I'm hoping you can see how it's shrinking and sticking to it. All right, so that's what I did. So about 141 degrees. I mean, you don't have to be exact, but 
get it somewhere close and you can test it a little bit and you can end up with a really nice let's see if I can get this you can see as a comparison this one here has still got those big bubbles around the foam that's sticking out and this side here it's stuck down really really good now I want to tell you something else that I tried and I would not recommend uh, doing it and that is this uh, heat gun that I have here I use uh, a good bit and I've got different tips on it where I can this is a concentrated thing where it's blowing a real small area so I mean it gets hot really really fast and even on the I've just got uh, two settings here high and low and even on the low setting I mean, if I would just, I was, oh, probably about, I don't know, three or four inches away, and just run it down across it like that, and it almost started melting things. I was on a scrap piece, but nevertheless, I mean, this thing here, if you would try to use a, a air gun like this, be really, really, really careful. It's got to be one where you can turn it down a lot. I used to have a uh, regular monocoat heat gun, but uh, or air gun, but I don't have that anymore. So that for me answers the question: Can you put monocoat on a plane, and can you use an iron to stick it? Well, I just did on mine, and uh, I've got a couple planes here in the. Uh, bench right now and I'm going to continue to use this seems to me like it's going to work really well. Thanks for watching